Okay, so we're going to integrate e to the power of cosine x times sine x dx. So, how are we going to do this? Now, one option could be integration by parts, because we've got one term and another term. That could be a little bit messy. Another option we've got, we can see we've got a cosine x and a sine x. And as the cosine x is the power of the exponential, maybe we should do a u sub for the cosine x, because cosine and sine go well together. So let's do usual business. u equals cosine x du equals derivative of cosine x negative sine x dx and now get dx on its own so dx equals du over minus sine x okay so now we've got all the bits that we need now for this to go into the u world so let's substitute everything in so e that stays cosine x cosine x is u sine x i'm just going to leave that in there for the moment i know it's an x one but you'll see what happens good things are going to happen in a minute and then dx or dx equals du over negative sine x okay so now you can see why i left the sign in because now these two cancel out and that makes things look really nice so let's just simplify this up a little bit more so now we've got e to the u this negative still counts so we'll bring this out front and then du okay so now we're fully into the u world and now we can just integrate so integral of e to the u du is just e to the u okay and that's good so now all we need to do now is go back into the x world where u is cosine x so then we've got e to the cosine x or negative e to the cosine x and don't forget plus c okay